Hi everyone, thanks for coming back. So today I'm going to be doing a video about the five questions, comments that I've received that are the most weird, strange, out there, reoccurring questions that I've gotten since I've had my weight loss surgery. Um, so I'm just going to go through these five questions and at the end of the video, if you feel like liking and subscribing and sharing with me your weirdest, strangest, most reoccurring questions that you've gotten, whether or not you've had the surgery, you're about to have the surgery, thinking about the surgery, it would be really interesting to see. These are not necessarily super funny questions, but it's just reoccurring questions that I've had that are kind of, some of them are out there, some of them are weird, just I just wanted to share these with you guys. So my comment number five is, are you sure you want to get weight loss surgery? You might not be any fun afterwards. This was a comment that was kind of strange and I kind of stopped and went, why? Why won't I be any fun after having weight loss surgery? What's going to change so drastically? If anything, I would be more fun because I'll have more confidence and want to do more things or feel better about going out and want to have new adventures. And so it was just kind of strange. And it was like, why won't I be any fun anymore? And I think the person was more like, because whether or not you've had weight loss surgery, whether or not you have a big gang of friends or not, food is always something that assembles people. Food is always a uh, part of usually a social event and drinking if your crowd does drinking as well. So I think this person was more like, well, we're not going to be going out for any kind of lunches anymore. We're not going to be having supper together anymore. Or uh, if we decide to go out, you're not going to want to drink anything. And it, I mean, it's kind of hard to know what's going to happen when you haven't really had the surgery yet. But I mean, that doesn't really have an impact on your life because you can still go out, you can still have fun, you can still drink, and you can still uh, go out for suppers and things. It's just that the things that you're going to be eating is going to be maybe either different, or if you feel like that day having some kind of specialty or eating maybe example of pizza, well, go out and have pizza. It's just that you're going to have a little piece of pizza. So it was kind of a strange comment that took me aback, like, well, why wouldn't I be fun anymore because I feel better about myself? Of course, it changes a little bit how you are and how you react and how you do things, but to be less fun? I don't think so. So that was one of the first comments that kind of made me go, hmm, that's a strange thing to say to someone who's thinking about bettering their health and their life, and it was, it was just strange. Comment number four was, don't get the weight loss surgery, you're just going to gain the weight back anyways. And I'm not the only one who's gotten that kind of comment. I've seen that comment on people on different forums as well. And it's kind of like, one, very unencouraging to the person who is thinking about going through this kind of thing. And two, I mean, there is some truth behind it. Yes, some people do gain back weight, especially the people who've had example of the lap band. Uh, I've heard a lot of people who have gained weight back because of that. But when it comes to the bypass in the sleeve, it is possible that you gain weight back. That's true. It depends on how you've adapted your life. It depends on how you've used this tool to make your life better. And usually um, people do gain back, like you can gain back some weight. It's normal apparently to gain back some weight. But I mean, say an example, you've lost 150 pounds. And after a year or two or however long, you've gained back, let's say, 20 pounds. Well, that's still 130 pounds that you have less than you had before. So even if you get back to 20 pounds, it might have a bigger impact emotionally on us because we've gone through the entire step of everything, of going through everything and uh, trying our best and going through the surgery and getting back 20 pounds is still 20 pounds. But at the same time, you need to keep in your mind that I've lost 130 pounds and that's 130 pounds that makes me feel better, that makes me, uh, whether or not, a kind of a different person than you were before so yes it is possible to gain back weight and it's something that you need to look into uh to keep track of so if it's something that bothers you then you can take care of it right away but to say that to somebody when they're thinking about going through this life-changing event in their life is discouraging and like why would you say that it's just it, it's not helpful whatsoever I would suggest if you're worried about saying that kind of thing, then maybe I would go more for, is it possible that you're going to gain weight back? Or uh, do are you worried maybe that there will be weight gain afterwards? Not Don't have the surgery. You're just going to go through it for no reason and you're going to gain your weight back. Completely ridiculous to say that. Um, and it doesn't encourage anybody to go through with the surgery. And the small reality of the sentence of the comment that you've received 
is so disproportionate to the actual reality of the situation. So it's just one of those comments that you kind of go, all right, so you're kind of one of the people who are not going to encourage me for this entire adventure. So that is comment number four, that, another one that kind of took me aback. Comment number three is, must be hard to not eat pastries, be careful. So this was actually a comment that I received this week, actually at the beginning of the week. And uh, it was just that where I work, we have like a breakfast spread that happens once a week, which is provided by the company, which is totally extraordinary. And there was fruits and nuts and uh, there were some pastries on the table. And this one girl who more or less knows me, but decided to slip a comment through anyways, because she knows that I was operated on, there was full of pastries on the table and she kind of stopped and looked at me and said, make sure you be careful, you shouldn't be eating these kind of things and like, it must be hard, don't go for these kind of things, you shouldn't be eating that, you need to be careful and it was just kind of like, is this any of your business? Because I mean, <clears throat> if I decide that I want to eat a pastry, I'm going to eat a pastry. But at the same time, my decision on what I'm going to be putting into my body is none of the business of the other person that's there and it's kind of like, why are you taking so much interest in the things that I'm going to be putting into my body. And I mean, like my answer was, well, I wasn't thinking of eating the pastries. I was going to go and have some fruit because that's what my, I was already thinking that before she said anything. But at the same time, it was kind of like your, what you said didn't impact my decision. I had already made my decision because I wasn't intending to eat the pastries because for breakfast, I don't think that eating like a piece of cake is the best idea, but that's me and if you want to do it, then do it. But if I would have wanted to have eaten a pastry, there was no problem with that. I hardly eat junk food ever. The most junk food that I eat is corn nuts. I love corn nuts and I usually take like a little handful because it gives me something to chew. It's not super healthy, but I'm not eating a bag of chips, I'm not eating cake, I'm not eating, you know. But it was just like a outplaced comment or it was kind of like, I'll eat a pastry if I want to eat a pastry. It's not my intention. I'm not going to do it. You didn't influence my decision. But if I want to, I'm going to. So it's just another one that I guess all of these comments are more comments that kind of took me off my guard because they're not really like weird or strange. But it was just kind of like, seriously, you're like, you're not in my body. You're not in my mind. And you're telling me what I should and should not eat. So it's just like, I kind of laughed it off. It was just like, fine, no problem. I was going to eat fruit anyways. That was my intended choice. And she was like, oh, well, that's a good choice. So like, thanks for giving me your approval. <laughs> so comment number two is, are you ever going to stop losing weight? This is actually a comment that I receive really, really often. And it surprises me whenever people come up to me and they're like, wow, you're looking really, really good. Your weight loss seems to be going really well. Um, how much weight have you lost? And I tell them how much I've lost. And it's happened throughout the entire situation, the entire like almost one year of having been operated on. And their comment is, are you ever gonna stop losing weight? Like they think I'm going to just like continue to lose weight and die, I think. Or they're not like, they don't understand that eventually you will stop losing weight. I can understand that they don't understand because they don't live it, they don't go through it. But it's just a weird comment of, are you ever, is the weight ever gonna stop going away? And they don't ask it like in a sense of worried about me not being able to lose more weight. They're more worried like, is it something bad is going to happen to me? So usually my answer is, yes, I'm gonna stop losing weight eventually, yes, uh, I'm going to get to a point where I'm stable and or if I continue to lose weight and I'm past the point of where I'm feeling okay or where my health is concerned, then there are ways to slow it down and or stop it and raise my weight back up. And it's possible it stops completely and I start weight, gaining weight. So it's just the concern that the people have thinking that you're going to continue to lose weight for forever and then eventually just like get really, really sick and die, I think. So it's just a weird, a weird, the way that it's not so much the words that they're saying, it's the intonation of how they're saying it. Kind of like, are you ever going to stop losing weight? Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to be fine. I have people helping, so if anything bad happens, I'll be able to get to it. But that's a question that I have all of the time. Like, it takes me back sometimes. Like, why are all these people so worried that I'm not going to stop losing weight? It's a good thing. I want to keep losing weight. I still got like another 70 pounds that I want to lose before I hit my health weight. So it's... Whether or not I lose that 70 pounds is another question, but I mean like I still have a while to go. So it's just a strange comment that it's kind of like, 
coming back over and over and over every almost every single time someone inquires about my weight loss I that question follows it so it's just kind of odd <laughs> comment number one don't get weight loss surgery because your poop is going to smell stronger this was one of the stranger ones I would say this is one that kind of I didn't really have an answer to I didn't really know how to respond because I was like what really like where did you even hear that it was really strange and I mean now with time having gone by I mean like I can understand if you've heard a little bit about weight loss that maybe you've heard that it's possible that your urine will smell stronger and that is due to it's never happened to me but that is due to uh you drinking less overall, which makes you go to the bathroom a little bit less, which makes it possible that you get dehydrated and your urine can smell a little bit stronger in the beginning. Later on, once you're drinking properly, there's no problem. But I mean, like, your your number twos don't smell worse. I mean, everyone, when they go to the bathroom, it smells bad most of the time. But I mean, like, it's not something that has become exceptionally extraordinary because I've had weight loss surgery that when I go to the bathroom, it's smelly. That's just really strange. You do go to the bathroom less, which is normal because you're not even eating. You're eating about a third of the, what a normal person would be eating. But I mean, like, I would say go to the bathroom regularly every day. But I would say number two would be like every other day. Maybe I'll go once. So I mean, But it has no impact on the smell of your body and what your body is getting rid of. So I think maybe that's where the origin of it is coming from. Thinking that people go to the bathroom less, so it's going to be stinkier when you do go. But anyways, for me, that is not true. That has never even been something in my entire experience of my 11 months of experience that I've had anything resembling what this person had said. So I think that the number one is the strangest thing that anybody has ever said. It's the most out of the blue, like, where did you even hear that? <laughs> strange. So those are the five common questions that I have received since um, getting weight loss surgery that have just really mostly taken me aback and like made me stop and go, what? Really? So I was wondering what are you guys' worst, strangest, out of the blue questions that you've received, questions, comments, whether or not you're thinking about weight loss surgery or whether or not you've had it and uh, put them in the comments below. I think everyone would enjoy because you just gotta laugh it off. Sometimes it's a question or a comment that makes you feel insecure, but like a year later, you're like, oh my God, I can't believe that person said that. So let me know in the comments below. I'll be super interested to read them. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're liking my channel, then please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And there's always that little bell that you can click on to get notifications, which I don't think works most of the time because I've seen a lot on YouTube that those notification things don't really reach the subscribers. But it's up to you if you want to do it or not and like the video and please come back for the next one and i will see you guys then bye